Welcome back to Soar Financially here. My name is Kai Hoffman. I'm the Ed JR Mining Guy on Twitter and the CEO of the Soar Financially Group. As you can tell, we moved outside of the studio. We are on the road. We are in the Yukon. We're in beautiful Dawson City, the, the, set, the epicenter of the historic Klondike Gold Rush back in 1897 and 98. It's been a fantastic time. It's a beautiful, beautiful historic town. And I'm joined by Chen Lin. What is Chen buying? You guys know him. I don't think he needs a lot of introduction. We've had some fantastic conversations on the channel in the past. Chen, it's great to see you. I love spending the week with you again. Oh, great. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. so glad to be here. Yeah, you having a good time here in the Yukon? Oh, yeah, yeah. Just with the snow line. What a discovery. You know, the, the drill core, look at it. This uh, interception is uh, as long as the CN Tower. So longer, <laughs> higher than the CN Tower. That's, that's crazy. Yeah, that's they put out some fantastic results just uh, yesterday, I think, as well. Yeah. Just ahead of the, the tour, of course, exactly, right? Yeah. Uh, over 400 meters at two grams, uh, right from surface. That's, uh, that's game changing, I think. That's, uh, those are fantastic results. Um, when you're on this tour, Chen, I know you're silver focused as well, but uh, w what are you looking for here? Like, what's your focus? Oh, just uh, checking out the company, you know, seeing all oh, the core first time, talk to the management, talk to Geo, and get some better understanding yeah. of that. Yeah. Right? For example, Snowline, you kind of see they have a, a boundary there, and then they just push, they try to push into, you know, expand that. So, very interesting, very interesting. They're, hit, they're hitting actually at the edge of the intrusion. It's pretty decent. And we thought. So yeah. that's exciting. Absolutely. I think Michael Gray of Agentis came out with a nine and a half million ounce resource uh, calculation based on his modeling, which mm -hmm. is massive. It's a good, good start, I'd good say. Good start. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. And then seeing it firsthand gives you some perspective on topography and things like that because it is out there. Oh, yeah, yeah. So a two hour flight eh, from, uh, from Whitehorse yeah, or actually here yeah. from Dawson yeah, as well. So. Yeah, yeah. Amazing, amazing discovery. I, I'm sure there will be more and more coming. Yeah. Absolutely. There's more drilling happening. I think they got three or four holes. Uh, drills. Drill, drilling, so. Yeah, yeah. And there are also many other companies who are going to visit Victoria, Banyan later and, yeah. and, and see the whole belt. They, yeah. This will be the new district. Absolutely. It's like the, the Tombstone Gold Belt, yeah, right? Exactly. So exactly. Re really excited, actually. The Yukon is really coming to life and uh, these mining tours are just fantastic to sort of showcase the, the potential out here, right? Yeah. So, um, Chen, we always talk silver. When, when you're on the program, we have to talk silver again. You just sent me a link yesterday to a, a research update from ANZ Bank. And uh, do you want to summarize that for us? Because I think it has quite a bit of an impact. Yeah, the ANZ is the first major bank started calling the silver shortage is that will be highest in our lifetime or in for decades to come. In their words, this is a real shortage. And their estimate, if you read that report, actually a little bit higher than mine. <laughs> They're looking at 2025, it's two years from now, about 500 million will be taken by solar panel alone. Okay, I'm only estimating 400, you know? <laughs> so, quite conservative. Quite conservative, but anyway, if you look at four or five from 200 last year, so you, you're looking at 200, 300 million ounce silver need to be created, need, yeah. need to be come from somewhere. Right, so there's just no way, but silver price has to go high. I ex at my expectation is maybe forty dollar range. People will start to turn their silverware to melt. <laughs> That's create extra physical, you know, uh, silver. So you cannot just cr create it from thin air. You cannot print, right? So all these. Traders, they treat, they treat silver like a, just like a, the uh, variation of gold. Gold go up 1%, silver should go up 2%. Gold go down 1%, silver should go down 2 to 3%. Yeah. They just trade like that. If you look at the in, in share, you know, traders' net interest, is they're shorting silver because they just think, oh, by their algorithm, by their AI, the very smart engine, silver should be this price. But there's a strong physical demand coming, so they will destroy their model. That's what I yeah. see coming in the next 12 months. We'll yeah. see. Like, let's say a little shorter term, silver just jumped two and a half dollars within a week, pretty much. Uh, that's a big move. That's almost 10%. Uh, that's a really, really big move, actually. Was it just tracking gold? Did you see something change there as no, well? Like, no, the dollar index was a bit weaker as well. Right, dollar weaker, but the silver is so much stronger, come out stronger than the gold. I think it's the physical demand. You talk to the silver producer, I had the chance to talk to uh, Chris Carr, Quinton. They, are, they have a silver mine, uh, uh, the um, San Cristobal, and they're selling silver. They're telling me that when they sell the silver concentrate, the smelter pay premium. Okay. to the silver price yeah. because <laughs> silver is in shortage. It's yeah, in demand. 
So, so this physical shortage, when we have a little bit upswing of gold and silver goes much higher, that's a very good sign. Fantastic. Chen, it's always great to see you. We get to spend a full week again together. Always enjoy my time with you. Okay, and, great. Uh, we'll, we'll go visit Victoria and Banyan tomorrow. Okay, so, great. Fantastic. Everybody else, we hope you enjoyed this quick update here from the Yukon Mining Alliance conference in the beautiful Dawson City. Uh, make sure to follow Chen as well. What is Chen buying? Chenpicks.com, I think, is the website. Uh, go, go check that out. We'll put that in the description below as well. And also, there's a square box that says subscribe. Hit that. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. We'll be back with more content from the conference. Okay, great. Thank you.